What's up everybody, it's Ivan with Trout's Live Streaming back with the forecast for October 21st. I know, it's a little bit early. I know what you're thinking, Ivan, you're usually late. Well, I'm on top of my shit right now. So no big deal. Big pat on the back to me. Anyway, let's talk about fishing for the next two weeks. Uh, it is fall. Uh, contrary to the fact that we're seeing some huge fires in October, uh, we're still seeing some very uh, big fall weather. So uh, first and foremost, thanks to all the first responders, all the firefighters uh, doing all that hard work. It's got to be outrageous uh, this year, uh, the amount of stuff they've had to deal with. So uh, big shout out to those guys. Um, Keep on keeping on, it's much appreciated. So uh, anyway, let's talk about fishing. Uh, the next couple of weeks very much seem like we're gonna be in the meat of fall. Uh, and that means streamers, blue wings, some midges, uh, and tailing off, we're gonna see you know, still some hopper dropper action. But that's gonna start to tail off as we get those overnight lows that are consistently below freezing. So uh, without further ado, let's talk bugs, flows, and weather. Let's do this. All right, we're gonna start with bugs. And I apologize, sometimes I have the memory of a goldfish, so I forget whether or not I've chosen the same streamer twice in a row. Uh, but I'm just gonna choose things that I would fish this time of year. And that's the double fuego in gold. I'm a big fan of flash. This has a lot of it. It also has uh, good dumbbell eyes, nice big head, tapers off, casts well, big fan. Hit, throwing these against the bank, whether you're walk waiting or in a boat. Uh, double Fuego is a good option. Number two, so blue wings are here, especially on those cloudy days when you get this, when the sun gets a little lower, anytime you get that low light, a little Power Wolf uh, Blue Wing Olive, size 18 or 20. Um, you know, the Arkansas would be a great place, the Colorado would be a great place to throw this bug. Manhattan Midge in a 20 in red. Uh, this is a forest Dorsey pattern. Uh, this is designed for the South Platte. Um, so with the low flows that we're seeing on the South Platte, uh, definitely a worthwhile addition to your rig. Good option there. And then the Buy It Emerger Blueing Olive. Uh, so if you're getting into a Blueing Olive hatch and they might not be, they may be being, being a little bit more selective or they're not eating adults, uh, throwing this below a dry fly, like throwing a tiny little dry dropper, uh, this is a good option for that. You can also throw this under an infrig as well. And then, it is October, and I have no shame, so I put an orange egg. Orange egg, this is the flash tail. You can choose any orange egg. Browns are spawning, eggs are in the system, fish like protein. They eat like me. They see it, they want it, they eat it. This is like a pizza. If there's a pizza in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. If there's an egg in front of a fish this time of year, they're gonna eat it. Uh, it's just a fact. It's a little bit, Dirty, shall we say, but uh, it gets the job done, so that's really all that matters. Puts fish in the net. Obviously, this time of year, be mindful of reds. Don't tread on them. Give fish space. Let them spawn. Don't you know, step on reds and uh, kill a bunch of brown trout eggs because wild brown trout are cool, and we should have a lot of those and good, healthy ones. So be mindful of that. Uh, that's bugs. Let's get into flows. All right, flows. So... As, a, as I mentioned in the last forecast, we did see a drop in flows along the South Platte below Cheeseman. Uh, it has actually dropped to 50, which is a little bit lower than I think we all expected. Uh, that means it is a technical nymphing game. Uh, you can still throw some attractors as a lead fly, but for the most part, uh, subsurface midges and blue wings are going to be uh, sort of your first best option. Uh, maybe throw a, the egg on top of that. Uh, egg and then two smaller flies. Um, you can also see some blue wings, but yeah, those lower flows, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more technical, size down that tippet. Uh, we're seeing very consistent flows below 11 mile and uh, the dream stream. Uh, and then the free stones are also sort of in that low flow stage of fall. These are expected things. Uh, you know, these aren't uh, you know, these aren't abnormal for this time of year. We we expect to see lower flows, uh, and it gets a little bit more technical. Um, 
but you know, fish can still be very happy, uh, feeding well, and you, know, you can get in some productive days, uh, especially using eggs and blue wings. So we're talking about weather. It's like actually fall in the next two weeks, which is pretty exciting. Uh, some lower air temps, some drops into the 20s and the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and some in the 60s, but uh, we're seeing some drizzles, some clouds, some snow in the high country. Uh, it is streamer season. It is time to throw blue wings. Uh, these are all, like this is music to my ears. I love this time of year. Uh, anytime you get uh, clouds, that means the two things I love the most, blue wings and streamers are out. So I'm excited. I think you should be excited too. Fall fishing, hard to beat it, uh, especially in the here in the Rockies. So that's the weather. Let's wrap this thing up. It's, uh, it's fall. As I mentioned, blue wings, streamers. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but blue wings and streamers. Blue wings and streamers. Blue wings and streamers. Okay, goodbye.